There's a surprise at the end of this video, so fast forward now if you're impatient. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather, which is why I wanted to do another one of these from my bathtub. But you know what? I don't feel like taking a bath. I want to lay on my couch in this blanket. But I still have thoughts, and they still need to just be put somewhere. So instead of thoughts from a bathtub, I'm going to give you some thoughts from a couch. So here we go. A lot of people are upset about our current president-elect, but repeat after me. The president is not my daddy. He cannot just spank me whenever he feels like it. Feel better now? I think that we need to abandon this mission to Mars business. It's been a long time and it's not gonna happen. I say we start terraforming Saturn. Yeah, it's a big gaseous frozen-y planet. Okay, step one, we just inject a bunch of oxygen into it. So then it makes frozen water. So then we blast an asteroid to make it closer to the sun. Then what would you get? Water world. We're already prepared for that. So then we take a second asteroid and blast it even farther closer to the sun, and then we get hot water world. Then we can send people to colonize it and fill it with marine life. And then they live in water world and everyone's a pescatarian. And when you look up in the sky, you can see rings, tight. If everybody donated the ends of their loaves of bread every week, we could feed a lot of hungry people, especially if they're hungry for shitty sandwiches. A lot of states will fine you if you don't go to jury duty. But if we also find people for not voting, I feel like we could make enough money to build a land bridge between North America and Greenland. And then we could put a bunch of tolls on that road and we could generate enough income to start terraforming Saturn. If bees are endangered, we should elect one person in each community to be a beekeeper. Then once the bee population goes up, don't be surprised if the human population goes down from bee stings. You asked for this. Fake news is all over Facebook and people are concerned. Maybe a simple solution is don't get your news from Facebook. This product has the wrong name. It should be called a give it a rest already. They're not coming. <coughs> Vine is dead, but it doesn't have to be. Here's a list of billionaires I think we should convince to keep Vine alive. Or we should see if they'd be willing to take Tom from MySpace as a blood sacrifice, because I know what billionaires want, and it's Tom. I think someday future humans will look back and say, why are they pooping and peeing into fresh water? I think cars should have directional horns, so you could backwards beep at a car that was tailgating you, or diagonal beep at a squirrel that wasn't paying attention, or up beep at a tree full of birds just to scare them, because why not? I think the punishment for mistreating animals should be being thrown into a pit of gorillas. Too soon? Too late. We could get rid of rush hour by making half the population nocturnal. Half the people work regular hours and half the people work Batman hours. If you go up to a snake and you hug it all the time, it dies because you smothered it. That's what you're doing to your relationship. What is armpit hair for? What is it for? You know, I think Ariel from The Little Mermaid really was just a hoarder. Really, who else collects trash like that? If the NSA is spying on me, good. Someone else will have to listen to all this relentless barking too. I had head lice six times when I was little. I mean, think about that. That's an impressive statistic. If this hairstyle is called a Bob, then why isn't this hairstyle called a Robert? Get it, because this one's short for Wow. One time my friend skipped a rock on a lake and it hit a goose and the goose spun around upside down for a little while. I mean, name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. I think dogs like to play fetch because, well, they're stupid. Drums should be called bangs and bangs should be called regret. Why does the government get to tell me how many dogs I'm allowed to have? And speaking of dogs, Bark, bark, that's a cute bonnet. And speaking of bonnets, it's time for the surprise. <laughs> the video's over. So four months ago, I released a set of pop sockets. They were Galaxy Kermit and Marbles and a uh, regular Kermit and Marbles. And they're gone now because I told you they were limited edition. Do I look like some of the lies? Because I wasn't lying. But the good news is I have four more new pop sockets. There is a tie-dye Kermit and Marbles in sunglasses. There's Kermit and Marbles in sunglasses on a rainbow beach. There's Kermit and Marbles holding hands in space. <laughs> and last but not least, my personal favorite, Kermit's awkward school picture. <laughs> 
I have been dying to put this on my phone for a long time and the day is finally here. So here we go. So for those of you that didn't see the first round of pop sockets, they go like this onto your phone. You can pop them out, you can put them in your hand. If you have a bigger phone, you can use two of them as a stand. You can wrap your headphones around them. There's clips that are available on the website. If you like to use your phone in your car and mount it, it just mounts right like that and it sticks on your dash. It's really helpful. I use mine every day. I'm so sorry, old Carmen and Marbles. Like, I feel bad because you can't get these anymore. <laughs> I'm just taking them off. God, look at that. This is four months old and this boy does not want to come off. So as much as I adore these, I think I'm going for tie-dye Kermit and Marbles and Kermit's Awkward School picture. So this is how you do it. This is where my old pop sockets were. You can stick them on your phone or I have mine on my case. Kermit is on. <laughs> tie-dye Kermit and Marbles is on. <laughs> I mean. So if you're looking to buy anyone some gifts this holiday season, you can buy them individually or you can buy them in a set of all four of them. They're all available until January 15th and they are limited edition. So when they're gone on January 15th, they are gone forever. So if you would like your very own Kermit and his awkward school picture and some boys on the beach in their tie dye and their sunglasses, the time is now. So I hope you love them. We worked hard on them and I'm so pleased that you guys loved the last round. Everyone always asks me what they are, so if you didn't know, now you do know that they're called Pop Sockets. They're so amazing and I will never go back. I literally can't hold my phone without them. And not only that, but you can get really cool red Kermit and Marble ones. So I'm gonna put all of the links in the description and I hope that you love them. It's the best. Kermit, smile for your picture. All right, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday slash Thursday. Kermit, thank you for being such an amazing dog. You really are one of a kind. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. You're so handsome, like in real life and on these pop sockets. Thank you for existing.